If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. As of recently, so much GTA 6 rumors and leaks have been coming out. And yes, they are very exciting. And some of them seem very, very believable, like we've gone over the past few weeks of female protagonists, it taking place in Vice City, etc, etc. And there are new leaks and reports of GTA 6 having some actual single player DLC, like in GTA 5, was supposed to have, but inevitably got scrapped. Well, technically, they were scrapped for the single-player DLC and actually was kind of recreated in GTA Online, and that's what some of the updates were, like the Doomsday, for example. That was one of the few updates that we were kind of supposed to get in single-player with Trevor as an IAA agent, you know, trying to save the world, but it instead was put into GTA Online to make more money in shark cards, etc. But like in GTA 4, GTA 6 should have some single-player DLCs, as per leaker Tezfun2 over on Twitter. Tez2 claimed that the new cities and missions will come to the game as DLC, and they will definitely be planned out before 6 releases. Well, they should probably have some sort of roadmap, that's probably what he means, have, has, have some sort of plan before actually releasing the game and having no idea what they're going to do for DLC, though that usually isn't the case, but I think it would be kind of cool to see a roadmap or where we're going to go next, I feel like. I think that'd be really cool, get an idea of the next single player DLC. But Rockstar doesn't like to make that super public, so we'll probably get some hints and references and like little foreshadowing of where we're gonna go next. And then once we're finally be able to go there, we'll oh yeah, that's what that meant. That's exactly what that meant. Tez also said that GTA 6 will take the form of instance new cities or islands similar, similar to Keo Perico or North Yankton from GTA 5. That way Rockstar can introduce a new heist for the next GTA Online mode. With each new DLC, if we are lucky, we could receive a fully fledged new city from time to time. Now the thing there that says a new heist in GTA Online with each new DLC, that seems kind of confusing because we're talking about single player, right? Now with each single player DLC, see there might be that new area or location might drop on gta online as well i think that'd be awesome back in back way 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 in the day we used to get the gta online dlc cars and weapons in gta 5 single player to try out before you know buying them online that used to be a thing but then they took that away because it uh, ruined the shark card sales so they decided to only leave those things specifically for GTA Online so you'd have to buy them in online and not be able to try them out. The Battle of Gay Tony and the Lost in the Dam from GTA 4 are two perfect examples of single player DLC, though they don't bring any new locations, they do bring a new few interiors, new weapons, new cars, though that may sound like a small GTA Online update that we receive every 6-7 to seven months. That would be really cool for single player if we were to add a new map, and then with each of the new map, maybe a new business or a new heist. I think that would just be so freaking cool. Be every few months or maybe a year or two, we'd have to learn a new map, which comes along with a new heist, and new businesses. I think that'd be just really, really cool, and something that um, I think everyone should be excited for. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. And let me know you guys' thoughts down below, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.